Hey, what up, crew? Fearless Leader coming at you with another episode. Uh, base breakdown time. Um, it's going to be kind of weird to do a base breakdown on a very popular internet base, but here it is. So you guys have probably all seen this base before. It's called Tootsie Roll. It's very, very, very anti-dragon, don't come at me with air troops, stay out of my core style base, right? I mean, four archer towers and three air defenses all in the core. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can wreck this base, but air is not one of them, generally. I've seen it done, but yeah, not advisable. The advantage of this base is that there aren't very many double giant bomb, there aren't any double giant bomb locations. So almost every variant that I've seen has Tesla here, Tesla here, Tesla here. Um, I saw another one where this gold mine and the Barb King were swapped, but that's kind of irrelevant. Um, the only other possible giant bomb locations in this base are going to be here. There's potential for a double set here, but there's no hog pathing there, so it doesn't make any damn sense. Um, uh, this is a possible double set too, but that's, again, there's no hog pathing. So if his giant bombs are there, um, that's dumb. So uh, we'll get the clan castle radius in here. Come on, give me this. There it is. Um, so stupid, easy clan castle lure. Uh, you can do it with a giant, which is what I would recommend you do. Um, just send in a giant, I don't know, right here at this mortar, I guess, and it'll die. Um, the only thing that's going to shoot at it, though, is the cannon, this cannon, and the Barb King will come over once he gets in range. But by then, it'll be way too late, and the CC will already be out. Um, from there, you're going to want to pull... That mortar's going to cause problems for ground troops on the south side. So there's really not a safe place to do it over there. So you're going to want to pull over here onto this side. Since there's no... this guy was a jerk and didn't put any corner huts or anything. Uh, you could do it up here on the north side. There's a great anchor here because it's out of range of that mortar. Um, but that's, uh, then you have to start worrying about time. And uh, that's, that's the safest anchor point is on the north side. So I would say just go up there and do your kill up there. Do the CC kill up there. Once you have your, I mean, you can anchor with anything. Just a single archer up here is fine. Um, bring a couple of witches in your CC. Um, that'll help clear out a lot of junk up there. Again, everything's out of range, and the skellies will be pulling most of the splash fire, and it won't be a big deal. Um, So, like, I like what Blade and Badman do with their CC kills. Uh, I think they went to Power Bang. And basically what you do is you feed Barbarians to the dragon while three wizards just blast at him and take him out. Um, so check up on that. Um, so once the CC is down... Um, you're going to want to hog from this side, do a two finger drop in here and in here. That way you get, actually scratch that, don't do that. Do an Asian wall, come like this around the side. That way you get all of these guys taken out and then these hogs will path over here and you'll probably get a split into the air defense and over to the mortar. And the hogs from this cannon will come into the core. Drop a heal in the core because there's a lot of point defense there. Um, you're going to want to save a heal for this giant bomb spot, right? Um, 
So I would say heal here, something like that, maybe on this wall right there, so that you can get a good, I'll zoom in a little bit here, drop the heal like right here on that wall, and that should give you something like this for a heal. That's probably too big, but you get the idea. That way you're covering the giant bomb, the cannon, the whiz tower. You're getting more bang for your buck out of your heel that way. Don't, don't heal here. There's no need, no need at all. There's no giant bomb that's going to wreck you. Um, the wizard tower will do a little bit of work, but not enough. And you'll be able to heal through the giant bomb better that way. You'll have more hogs alive and healing them. Um, and then I would save, I would say drop your barb king down here for a king swap. And put some, oh, right, shit, okay, so, once you have killed the clan castle, right, you're going to send in one balloon right here for this mortar, just one, that's all it's going to take, because the archer towers don't cover it, cannons don't shoot at the balloons, right, there's nothing there other than maybe a seeking air mine, so bring two balloons, stagger the drop, right, so go one, one. Um, get the balloon as close as you can to this spot here. That way it has less travel time and you don't have to worry about it so much. Uh, I'm fairly certain that the core is just laden with seeking air mines and spring traps, or seeking air mines and air bombs and all kinds of other nastiness. Um, so lure the CC, drag them up to the north. Right. Uh, once you've got the anchor set, once you've got that archer down, drop your CC witches up on this torch up here. Okay. That way you've got the archer as the anchor first. Your, uh, your CC witches have time to spawn skeletons and the dragon doesn't target the witch immediately. You always want to have a troop or two. Right. So you'll have the archer here. Maybe put a barb over here and a barb over here so that the dragon has plenty of other things to worry about. Um, and then, you know, three wizards up here, and that'll be more than enough to handle the clan castle. Um, I would save, I'd bring like eight wizards or something like that, and save a few of them for this area down here to clean up. Uh, that way you eliminate any possibility of the hogs coming over giant bombs down here. So leave, the, leave your five wizards for this area down here when you do the king kill. So lure CC, drag it up to the north, kill it. Once the CC is down, uh, drop the king for the king swap there. Drop the two balloons. And then wizards. Even four wizards down there is probably more than enough. But that way, like I said, you eliminate any possibility of your hogs running over giant bombs. Uh, for the most part. So, yeah, that should work out pretty well. So you're going to bring one giant, two balloons. Uh, hmm. And then, like, eight wizards. You don't have to worry about wall breakers. Uh, I would bring f five barbs and a couple archers or something. Now, you're going to you're gonna have to toy with the single troop the single troop bit to feed to the for the CC kill, but uh, eight wizards, two balloons, giant, mess of hogs, probably twenty nine, I think, somewhere in there, because you're gonna lose a few to the the mortar kill and whatnot. But yeah, so that should work out pretty well. So there you go, BK. There's your base breakdown at Tootsie Row. Hope you wreck it for a three star, man. That's gonna do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm out.